Measuring contests are ongoing, but the village is closed. It will reopen tomorrow at 11 a.m. I'm Linda Silverman, director of the Solar Decathlon, and this is your Daily Minute. I'm in front of Team Daytona Beach's house, which almost didn't make it. Hurricane Irma forced the schools to shut down construction. Luckily, volunteers pitched in to help them assemble their beach house in time to load onto the trucks and come to Denver. Their modular parts arrived a bit late, forcing them to work from behind. But again, more volunteers stepped up to help with assembly. The team has continued to be resilient and the beach house has been turning heads all week with its ductless HVAC system that keeps it cool at a fraction of the energy a local home uses. So coming from Embry-Riddle and Daytona State College, we are very type A personality people. We plan for everything to the extent that we can. And unfortunately, you can't prepare for a natural disaster. Hurricane Irma cut about 10 days out of our crucial construction time, and we've been trying to do a lot of catch up here at the Decathlon. For more on Solar Decathlon, visit www.solardecathlon.gov.